all three stars of our early games this evening. Let's start at the Bell Center in Montreal. Martin Brodeur does it again. 27-26 Habs were the shots. Jamie Langenbrunner gets his 18th on the season. And Mike Camilleri, 4-2. Devils at Scotiabank Place in Ottawa. Eric Carlson's the number one star yet on a string tonight. Stephen Reinprecht, Matt Cullen. We'll show you a neat thing. Don Will with Corey Clouston in the stars tonight. Brian Elliott doesn't get one, by the way. Anyway, and the Crown Royal three stars at Air Canada Centre. Nikolai kuhlman has been on a tear. He has, Brian Burke described him as having seen the element. He's like a soldier in battle time that has been through the, the wars. What was that again? Brian Burke used the expression for Victor Stahlberg and for Stahlberg. Uh, cool, cool, don't and get Coleman. on Brian Burke now. But and Brian it's a war, Burke, you're who talking like about you as Lord Nelson, said that it's like a soldier when you've actually confronted the worst of the worst. They say it's, it's apparently the expression is you've seen the elephant. Oh my, come on, what is that? What, what do you got in your trunk? <laughs> watch Corey Coulson. Uh, you think he doesn't love his players? And you watch this as they come off. This is pretty good. Mike, look at that. See that? That a boy with his uh, purple shirt. It's the hardest thing in beer league hockey now. Do you shake the hand or do you do that? Uh, do that. Like, uh, what's that guy's name? Anyhow, yeah, well, I, I shake hands. Shake hands. Anyhow, we give it that one. Now, what's, what's what are we going to <laughs> Brian Elliott. <laughs> Brian Elliott. <laughs> you get me so shook like up. That. Yeah, you get me so shook up with Clouston and Hagman or whatever <laughs> there was. Watch this, Elliot boy. That's it. He's. Uh, I. So I was on a talk show, and I said, if Elliot plays good, they win. And then you, it's the old story again. I, I'm not saying anything anybody doesn't know. Your goalie plays good, you win. Seven in a row for him. Yeah. And, yeah, and he's saying back-to-back -back games. He's sensational. Well, back-to-back -back games. So what? And it's nothing. Like these guys are. I mean, it, it's beautiful. And. Uh, we have Andy Sutton from Kingston, Ontario. Six block shots. Did I not say when this uh, trade was coming, this is one of the biggest trades of all? Six block shots, hitting guys, banging guys. The guy is unbelievable. He broke the stick. He got, I mean, this, this guy is really something. Kingston, Ontario. Did I say Kingston, Ontario? Three times. I did. Three times. And biggest trade because he's Biggest six, trade. Well, I did win the very first day. And I'll tell you, Brian Murray should be proud of this guy. He's come through and he takes care of guys too. And you don't want to fool with him. I mean, he's a giant. What a trade that was. I mean, that's, got to, that's a trade of the year as far as I'm concerned. It's beautiful. And now <clears throat> we're going to show you a little something about uh, Gut uh, Gutherson, or am I going to go to... No, that's good. Yep. We'll show Gutherson? Yeah, if we can. We'll show Gutherson. And again, I say it again. Here it is again. Your goalie plays good. One Swede beats the other Swede. Why don't you say what you really said, though? What? Uh, kind of breaks your heart to see poor John Tortorella and the, the Leafs are... You want me to say that? Why not? It's kind of funny. You think it's funny? Because it, right, it was say Bedlam it. in the building, right? And yeah. Then... All right, I'll say what I think, okay? I always say what I think. It really bugs me. It bugs me. Bugs me to no end when I see Tortorella dying there. Because one year, we were like that, and we were going for first spot. And uh, we'd play a team. Where were they in October, November, December, and uh, January? Where were they? Now they win a game, and it's the Stanley Cup, and Tortorella, the other guy's got a gun to their head, and these guys, ah, da, 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 da. yeah, let's have some fun. You ask me? Yeah, it I wasn't the fans it. you were mad at. You were mad at the Leafs and the big well, celebration. Jump it's around. an overtime game. And I know. I, I, I don't blame them. Yeah. I'm not blaming them. I'm just saying I feel sorry for Tortorella. They're in the hunt, and the other guys yeah. are getting ready for their golf. And you know for Gustafson to go up against Henrik Lundqvist, that was a huge yeah. second period the saves he made right after he yeah. got it to 2-1. to one. All right. Now listen. Hold it. Did I not say about icing? I'm going to show you an icing. Don't think Avery being out of this game didn't mean a lot. Mm -hmm. He's a pest, and he bugs me, but he's a good hockey player. Now watch how he gets hurt here. If you take a look, it is icing. Now watch what Shane does to him. If you want to call look, 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 bang. He's in after icing. It is, it, you can call it anything you want. It's interference, but they're going for an icing. He's not even looking at the puck, Shane. Hits his knee. And this guy is out on an icing. And those dumb, dumb general managers, and look at, that's from an icing, folks. That's from an icing. And nobody else knew it but me. The uh, Corsi numbers, are you big on the Corsi numbers? What's that? Jim Corsi, that was a goalie coach for the Buffalo Sabres, invented a system whereby they register how many shots are directed at the other net versus your own net when you're on the ice. Instead of a plus minus, he said if, as an example, you get 10 shots on goal, a couple shots directed at the net, and the other team gets 15 shots on your net, that's a minus five Corsi number. So to, What's to make a long story short, What's the next? best player in the NHL on Corsi numbers is Marion Hossa, the Chicago Blackhawks. The worst player in the NHL is... 
Ryan Johnson of the Vancouver Canucks. This is, shows how stupid the Corsi thing is. They had him direct. Here's a guy. You got him blocking shots. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here's a guy that every coach would want. You this want counts Oka? as a minus for him. Yeah, this is a way. minus for him. Now, watch. This is how stupid guys come up with trying to earn a living, coming up with dumb. They said this guy is the worst hockey player in the league. Look at him. Look at him. This guy is unbelievable. And they call him the worst from that dumb thing that you did. <laughs> I mean, look at the guy, and you're talking about it. Look at this, and he's the worst player. I'll tell you one thing, Vancouver loves this guy. He right. is unbelievable, and that dumb, dumb system you're talking about, I would love to have Ryan Johnson on my team, and every coach would have him on, too. That is going to be a beauty, obviously. San Jose's turned it around a little bit, and they've mixed up all the big three are on different lines. Boy, I, you know, San Jose, let me tell you something. They've always gone into the playoffs, loosey-goosey, kind of dumb, you know, we're 20 points ahead. Now they're getting to, they're battle-hardened now, and it's going to be a little tougher for them now. I think this is the best thing that could have happened to them, because now they'll go into the playoffs desperate instead of dumb and stupid. Are we going to talk about the university? Uh, Why not? Just before we send it out to Scott and Glenn. All right, Clarkson idea. is uh, Halifax and uh, St. Mary's, no. That's the University Cup. Well, yeah, University St. Mary's of Halifax. There they are. And they won, and now it's going to be, wait a minute, just a minute. It's uh, U of A Golden Bears yeah, Golden, and St. And Mary's. Yeah, Trevor St. Mary's. Steinberg, the Golden Bears are uh, an institution that so St. Mary's become under Trevor. That, that's great hockey, too, boy. That's by the University way. Cup. And you yeah. wanted to mention it for uh, Adrian Clarkson, the Clarkson Cup. Yeah. And it was and a big upset today. Minnie and Brampton, yeah, are going to play at the end for the Clarkson. That's named after Adrian Clarkson. And it should be have a Clark, uh, for Hazel McCallion somewhere, too. Good luck to the uh, Collegians and to the women tomorrow.